Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo. If we go here, check for updates, you will see Luminar Neo. Today it released a new version. This is version 1.04. There are a few bug fixes and a few um, more useful updates, but I am going to show you which one is my favorite one. My favorite update from today is being able to use Luminar Neo as a smart filter. What do I mean by that? Well, I am on Photoshop and I have this beautiful image. And uh, if I go Command J to duplicate the layer, now I can convert this layer by dry clicking on it into a smart object. And because it's a smart object now, you can see this little icon on the bottom right. Now I can use a smart filter. And there's many benefits of working with smart filters. If I go to smart to filters, I'll go to Skylum software and then Luminar Neo. And now I can apply my edits as a smart filter. I'm just going to do a quick little, just apply one thing just to show you how it works. So let's see, let's just apply maybe a little bit of enhance and let's apply a lot maybe. No, let's not do a lot. Let's do a preset. If you already done some edits, like I did apply the enhance, when you go to presets and apply a preset, it will erase all your edits that you've done at that point. So you want to do your preset first, then do your edits. But for this one, I'm just going to go to sunsets. Even though this is not a sunset image, I do want to give it that kind of sunset glow. So let's see. I think I'm going to use hyperdrive. And you see, it gives me a warning. Applying the selected preset will remove all your previous edits and this photo. Apply preset. And now we created the more golden hour. Let's see, that is the before and after. And if I click apply, it will send this image back into my Photoshop. It's still working. It takes a little bit, a few seconds. And now we have the edit we did in Luminar Neo as a smart object smart filter. You see I can turn it off and on, off and on. And the benefits of working with smart filters is if I don't like what I did or I wanted to add more of that or something, some other edits, I can just double click on this Luminar Neo and Photoshop, it will open this photo again into Luminar Neo. And this time we can go and modify the edits that we did or we can add more edits. Let's see, what do we want to do? Maybe I want to add some blue into the shadows. Maybe something like that. And now let's say, now I'm happy with my edit and I will click apply and it will go back into the Photoshop with our new edits. And there you go. Now we have in Photoshop, our smart object has the smart filter we applied in Luminar Neo. And we can open this as many times as we want and go change things in Neo and then come back in Photoshop and continue with our edit. And because uh, we have it as a layer, we can always, we have a mask and we can always mask the parts that we didn't want to apply the edit to. For example, if I take this mask and be for the brush with the large soft brush, black as a foreground color. I can just paint it off the subject. And of course, I completely erased it from the subject. But if I want to erase just a little bit, I can use this density. And this is like the opacity for your mask. So there you go. I just deleted a little bit of my mask. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I will see you in my next video.